So um, today we have two, just two logos, and I'm gonna be very fast with the two logos so as to not to make this um, training too long. Okay, Lyft Technology is a software company that specializes on mobile application and web development, and also handles system integration for organizations. All right. Now, bef before I show you guys the logo, I'm gonna tell you the things that I'm looking out for on the logo now the first thing is the simplicity of the logo because every logo must look simple all right simple enough that people can easily see you know the shape of the logo and part of how you know we achieve this is when we give room for white space so i'm going to check out the logo now and let's see what is missing or what make the logo successful so i'm going to hide the layer now and this is what we have seriously i don't understand what this uh, icon is saying looking at the logo here i think the designer is trying to build the spelling lift all right so this is looking more like l and i'm sure it's trying to say this is f and this is high and this is t here all right um well <laughs> this would have been nice if the combination of the shapes form maybe a common shape like when you put the shapes together you make them form a particular let's say icon or maybe a particular shape i believe doing it that way will look more interesting than what you did here i know we have so many brands out there who you know have something similar to what i'm talking about here um one of them is um, toyota all right if you check out toyota logo you realize that the spelling toyota is what they use to build the icon of the logo and uh -huh, and if you look at that logo very well you realize that there's a particular shape that the combination of those shapes form and that's the same thing you need to do here because the way you did this here now it is you know it's a bit difficult for people to um, understand what you designed here this concept you are trying to achieve is something that you have to be a professional to do it it's not something you just you know say okay i want to just put things together because if you just say i want to put things together to just form the name of the brand you are going to end up building something that's not that does not have meaning check out the the toyota logo you realize that even if you don't if you can't really spot those letters out from the icon the look of that shape alone is mature the look of that shape alone is attractive to the eye and i'm very much sure that if i ask other designers on this platform to tell me what exactly the putting of the, the putting together of this shape what it looks like i'm sure they will tell you they can't really say what it is putting shapes together to form the name of a brand takes um, serious um, professional touch all right so if uh, i'm going to come up with this all right what i'm just going to do is going to look similar to this i'm just going to do something like this I'm going to be very fast with this now it's not compulsory the logo have to look like what i'm doing now all right this is just another option of um what i believe if you are you know send it or come up with it it will still sell than what you did so this is going to form the l shape all right and like i said remember i said your logo should have a shape that when people see it you know even if they can't really tell what the putting of putting together of those shape you put together to form the logo even if they can't solve the equation but when they see that your logo comes in it comes in a shape it will still help the beauty of um, the logo so i'm going to position this here okay so there's a problem I'll create a new layer just draw this here like this and I'll change the color of this to white. All right. And this should be here like this. This should be here like this. And this should be here. Alright, so this is another option that I believe that um, 
it would have even sell better than what you did all right now there are different options that you can come up with that you know will even still look better than what i did here but um the goal is to create something that is easier for people to see all right and even if you are going to now put things together to form the name of the brand let that those things the putting of the putting together of those shape have an icon let them have a, a common shape that people are used to okay and um let's go straight to our next um, design all right so this um logo from one of the creative members says a youtube channel all right they create relaxing music for meditation sleeping studying and for other moods so let's see what the logos look like what the logo looks like okay so this is the logo it says tune bars all right now i like this logo the problem i have with this is that um, this concept here is very common all right this concept here is common now this logo is not bad it's not like it's bad it's just that um um you know whenever we're asked to come up with logo design just have it in mind that the reason why we are called to come up with that logo is because the client or the brand want to be different from other brands all right and when we have this in our mind this will help us you know know how to come up with something that is not too common something that is you know that would differentiate that brand from every other brand and that's why you see that most of the logos that we celebrate most of the brands that we celebrate today you realize that the look of their logo is not something that you normally see all right and um another way we you know help brands be ahead of their competitors is when we make their logo look mature and professional all right so for me this concept of this uh play icon and the or on the letter b is common so if i'm to come up with this logo one of the things i'm going to you know put in place is to see how i can play with sound wave all right how i can play with sound wave and whenever you're coming up with logo design see how you can merge um the message all right the message let's say uh, uh, um the message that you you got from the client most especially the about us how you can put the about us on the logo all right or if you can use the about us you can just use the uh um the vision of the logo and that's why whenever you work you're working on design projects don't just get the name from the brand and start work on the logo design no understand why the organization exists let them tell you why they need the, the, the logo the problem that they want to start solving and also ask them what type of logo do they always like like what are the logos that normally call their attention you see them send you sending you logos of um, brands that they like and let them understand that those logos is it doesn't have to be logos of um, brands similar to uh, what they do like logos from brands that do the same thing they do just tell them to send you logos that you know they see and then it catches their attention and most time you see the client send you logos that shows more of icon if you notice that the logo they sent to you is more of icons and not the monogram type of logo you should know that okay your focus should be on designing the icon type of logo for them when i say icon i'm referring to logos like nike apple adidas and so on but if they send you logo that shows monogram i'm talking of um, logos from i'm sure you know all these logo that use letters all right so whenever you're not going to work up work on that logo for them make sure you do something around the sample they sent to you all right so if you want to hit, learn more on the things to consider on working on logo projects please try and watch my previous video on logo design so if i'm to work on this logo all right and i want to do something different from um you know what people are used to i'm going to see how i can merge sound with because like i always say to you guys that whenever you're working on logo design have a thumbnail sketch um thumbnail sketch of um um different icons that shows something similar to what the brand is into so if i'm going to um come up 
with um, a logo for this brand i know i have to play with something that looks like something that looks like a sound wave something like this no it should be something like this mm -hmm. this is the sound wave i can also play with the play button all right you can even play with the play button and we can have maybe something like a pause button in front of it all right like that okay so but the reason i'm not going to use this is because this is common now i have i know some brands use this sound wave you know icon on their logo but um like i said on the play button um there are other ways you can play with this also the play button that will look a bit different from the normal way that um, people use it all right so after looking at um this logo today i drew something on the paper which i'm going to show you guys the picture now i believe it's on this tab here all right so this is it so after look at when i received the logo um i you know try to see how i can merge the sound wave to the name of the brand all right and then use it to form the logo for them so if i zoom in now you'll see i have u here and i have n here which is these two here all right so um most time because i know some of us don't do this the best way to design a good logo is not to quickly jump to your pc after digesting the brief our brain work better with our hand than us sitting on the computer which is the third party to come up with logo design projects so whenever you receive brief from clients get yourself a pencil and a paper draw the concepts on your drawing book before you get to your pc but make sure you have thumbnail sketch of different things that you can mesh together to form the look of the logo if you work this way trust me you will find logo design easy and fun but if you are the type who is always fast with jumping to your pc immediately you understand the brief the look of the logo that you are going to come up with is is let me just say it's going to be um um 20 percent for it to be successful that is even if you did not just do copy and paste from somebody else's work because I know some of we designers are good at whenever we are asked to come up with logo design, we just go online, search for logo design, pick the uh, somebody else's logo, then merge it with our own logo design. No, when we do that, we are not working as a professional. All right, and you will be shocked that most of those logos that you just go online to copy are logos that somebody designed with what I'm sharing with you now. All right, so the best way to design logos is not to quickly jump to your pc after digesting the brief is you drawing the your idea on a sheet of paper before you get to your pc so let's see how we are going to turn this logo to a beautiful icon all right now listen guys before i get to where to turn this to beautiful icon um it's not compulsory that what you draw all right what you draw on the paper is going to be the exact look of the logo no the idea of you drawing on the paper before you get to your pc is just to make you have something that you can put together when you get to your pc the work of the pc is to fine tune the project i'll repeat it again the work of your pc is to fine tune the logo design all right if you guys can try working this way i'm sure you'll call me and thank me for giving you this advice okay so i'm going to go straight to um illustrator now so i'm going to drag my drawing and drop here like so all right i'm going to use my pen tool now to draw this okay so i'm going to start from here and i'm going to turn this off and i'm going to click here all right hit escape and i'm gonna draw this here like so hit escape and i'm gonna draw the sound delete this okay i'm gonna select everything and then use this and add stroke to this 
all right so you can now fine tune it so i can even push this in like so all right and this is looking like v so i'm going to make it more curvy so as to take out the v look like so tune bars not tune box <laughs> all right so uh so i'm gonna go back to this all right and so what i'm gonna do is i can draw this like so and i'll go to objects i'll go to expand appearance and i'm gonna weld this okay so um there's another thing again i you know always like to apply where you know coming up with logo design is concerned and that thing is called unity okay so if i'm going to place any font next to this all right um i'm going to look for something that has a curved edges like um, the way i have it here on my icon so i'm going to go straight to gotham rounded there's a font called gotham rounded here and that's another reason that's another advantage of you you knowing the name of um font and what they look like so i'm going to use this so as to create that you know unity all right so this can serve as another option all right so it can serve as another option and then i think um, this is where i'm going to stop on this so if you enjoyed this tutorial guys um you can hit the like button and if you have not subscribed please remember to hit the subscribe um, button and i'll see you in the next one peace